Ladies and Jack gentlemen, Ryan your comes on please. to work much earlier now, than anticipated. Boy, Obviously, as he'll try and right the ship 31. in the very first inning. Jack Ryan. Now at the plate, Willie Adamas. And a great Ready chance it. here for the Rays the to add inning. on in Number just one. the first Here's inning. Ryan. Willie. Already Adamas. pitching from a deficit here as he fires this one by him for strike one. These Kansas City Royals entering play this oh, afternoon, guys. Fair to say they're not playing their best baseball right now. Losers of five of their last six. Yeah, Matty V. It hasn't been a very good homestand. And Dero, through the first five games of this set, one and four that's not going to get it done at this level yeah and, and have lost in a variety of ways whether it be on uh, on some bad pitching some mistakes in the middle of the zone untimely defense not swinging the bats well they have to find a way to get this win today and here's the starting lineup for the visiting Tampa Bay Rays what do you think they need to do to keep the winning streak a rolling D row the Maddie the key it. in this one for this Yo, lineup is they got to stay oh, staunch God. in the middle of the plate they cancel and we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. So a very good outburst here as five runs come across. Play ball. So it's back to the top of the order now and standing in one of the best two strike hitters in baseball Andrelton Simmons even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one. You can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Woody Keller. Woody Keller, this is my nightmare. He likes to call the pitch above the zone, above the belt. I know guys say those are the pitches that go deep, but I'm telling you, if you're calling that high strike, it opens up a lot of room for the pitcher. I agree with you, Dero. That's a tough pitch to get on top of and to put it in play. So if you're a pitcher right now, try to elevate in that top part of that strike zone. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. Hey, guys, take a look at how Kansas City sets up on D. And let's focus on one of the most dynamic outfielders in our sport, Kevin Pillar. He's a highlight reel every time he takes the outfield, has made some of the most signature catches of the last five years. Digging in, Daniel now, uh, Robertson. No base. official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. No balls in one strike. Robertson is just shy of six feet at 5'11, a right handed batter and thrower. He was selected in the first round during the first year play. Oh, just a brutal hop, and it goes right by him. Hey, that wasn't the prettiest of swings, guys, right there. That's not how you usually draw it up, but that's a line drive in the box score the next day. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. One for one as he reached base with a double his first time up. Fly ball out to right field. Giving chase is Bonifacio. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to get to that one. Two gone now. Now at the plate, Avisail Garcia looking to now follow up the right RBI field. single yeah, from his right first at bat. Garcia. Ooh, started him with the change, and it's nothing in one. Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0 2. Uh -huh. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Ray's strand just the one as they're unable to add to their five nothing. Digging in for his second at bat Tommy Pham swinging it well so far in this series he's three for nine. Tommy took a little off and it's in for a called strike one. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Chasing after it is Pilar. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. So with one gun in the inning time for a check of the American League Central standings as you see where the Royals sit entering play today. So one away here with the bases empty and up next will be the big catcher Jorge Alfaro. Alfaro clearly off with his timing on that one a swinging strike. Strike two is the fastball is let go. Bases are empty one man out. 
Now a swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. So a good job to get the out there, but with five runs already surrendered, that's not going to do any favors to the team ERA so far this season. And as you can see there, they find themselves hovering just a few spaces above the bottom in the entire American League. The bat. First the pitch of the at bat on its bat way. Bat. Way late on the fastball for strike one. Yeah, Matty, he's very late on that first pitch. I, I, I got to think he was guessing off speed. The 0 1. Oh, and he looks like he's no toying ball. with him here. It's 0 and 2. Hey, from an offensive standpoint, you better get it ready. This guy is not throwing a ton of pitches. He's confident in his stuff. He is pounding the zone. He's got two quick outs. You better pull the trigger. The 0 2 once more. Popped him up. Mondesi is under it. And the inning is over. Nothing across here this half. Of We're back as the Royals prepare for their at-bats here in the third. This lineup has been a huge bright spot for the ball club this season. They started the day leading the league in team batting average. And talking with some of the players during batting practice, I got the sense that they are very aware of that fact. Some smiled and nodded when I brought it up. Others told me they know they have a bunch of talented hitters, and that gives confidence to everyone on the team, including the pitchers. So digging in now, Willie Adamas, 0 for 1 after a pop out in foul territory his first time through. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike, nothing in one. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. Popped up. Cho waits on it, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. One out here in the Tampa Bay fourth, and now digging that. in next That's will be Joey Wendell. Joey. Grounded Wendell. to short. On to first, oh. and that is two quick outs to start the fourth. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Andrelton Simmons. A hit and two tries for him so far. In there, no balls and a strike. Line drive to center field. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Some success with two away and the top of the fourth is still alive. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Well behind that fastball, it's a swinging strike. Skied into very shallow right. Bonifacio coming on. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. One left for Tampa. They lead this one, though. Josh Bell, the next to hit. He'll start off the fifth in this one. Down the first baseline, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Adesail Garcia. It was a backwards K, a strikeout looking for him in his last at bat. Owen won the count. Here comes the pitch for Garcia. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. The windup and the 0 2 pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And this will wind up being nothing more than a long foul ball, and it'll hold the count at 0 2. 
Oh, and he struck him out as well. So he's carving right through the heart of this lineup as there are two away now. Flat out locked him up with the changeup right there. Usually you're trying for a swing and miss when you throw that pitch in a two strike count. But clearly he wasn't looking for it. So it's a backwards K for him. Stepping in, Tommy Pham. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. And he throws the fastball by him here, 0-1. Hey, this guy has been locating his fastball all game to perfection. Talking to a number of big league pitchers over the years, they'll tell you a well-executed fastball with good location is still the best pitch in the game. It's a 5-1 game here in inning number five. Protecting on 0 and 2, so we'll do it again. The next 0 2. Heading out towards shallow right. Bonifacio's under it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Rays go in order 1 2 3. They're up 5 to 1. Riding into the box, Jorge Alfaro. He's set to lead us off in the sixth inning. First pitch coming. Here it is. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. Oh, and here's a fastball right down the middle of the plate that swung on and hit out to deep left field. And this one's not coming back. This is a long home run. Standing in Kevin Kiermeyer. And a first day. pitch swing. He hits a fly ball to left center. Yeah, Calling for it. Schnell. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Up next for the Rays, Willie Adamas. 0 for 2 the on his line pitch. thus far. High in the air out to center field. Pilar's there. And that's the second out of the inning. And that'll bring up Joey Wendell. He was retired oh, via the ground ball Definitely last good. time up. Joey. First to his right, Cho. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over.